Hi there, I'm James, and I'm an interview coach from the free job interview training website, megainterview.com. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to answer customer service interview questions. And to achieve this goal, here is what I will discuss during this tutorial. To help you succeed in your job interview, I will discuss Number 1. The Top 5 Most Commonly Asked Customer Service Interview Questions Number 2. Important Tips to Answer Customer Service Questions Confidently Number 3. Top Scoring Example Answers That You Can Use to Your Advantage And Finally, Number 4. I will tell you where you can find over 10,000 free interview questions and top scoring example answers. Now, just very quickly, if you are new to the Mega Interview channel, please make sure you subscribe so that we can help you and other candidates pass your interview on the first try. We can only help you if you support the channel, so please give the video a thumbs up because it motivates us to keep creating content for you. Thank you! And now, let's discuss the important tips that you should focus on when answering customer service interview questions. Here are four important tips that you should take into account. And after that, I will tell you how to answer the most commonly asked customer service interview questions. Tip number one, be specific. Use specific examples from your previous work experience to illustrate your answers. Provide details of the situation, the actions you took, and the results you achieved. Tip number two, highlight your problem-solving skills. Customer service often involves problem-solving. Be sure to emphasize your ability to identify and address customer issues in a timely and effective manner. Tip number three, show your empathy. Customer service requires empathy and understanding. Show that you can put yourself in the customer's shoes and provide an appropriate level of compassion and understanding. And finally, tip number four, use positive language. Use positive language to describe your experiences and your approach to customer service. Focus on solutions rather than problems. In order to assist you in preparing for your interview, here are five example questions and answers. Please keep in mind that these responses are intended as examples and that it is essential to customize your answers to meet the specific demands of the position for which you are applying. Let's have a look at question number one. How would you define great customer service? Great customer service is all about going above and beyond to meet a customer's needs and create a positive experience. In my opinion, great customer service involves actively listening to customers and providing personalized solutions that address their unique needs. For example, at my previous job as a customer service representative for an online retailer, I had a customer who had received a damaged product. Instead of simply processing a return for them, I took the time to empathize with their frustration and provided them with a replacement product at no cost. I also followed up with the customer after the replacement product was received to ensure that they were satisfied with the resolution. Overall, great customer service involves a combination of empathy, proactive problem solving, and open communication. By prioritizing these values, I believe that companies can build lasting relationships with their customers and establish a positive reputation in their industry. This is an excellent answer that provides a clear and concise definition of great customer service, while also giving a concrete example of how you have demonstrated these values in your previous work experience. Now let's move on to question number two. How do you handle difficult customers? Dealing with difficult customers can be challenging, but I approach each situation with patience and empathy. First and foremost, I listen to the customer to understand their concerns and frustrations. I then acknowledge their concerns and work to find a solution that meets their needs. It's important to remain calm and professional, even if the customer becomes angry or confrontational. I make sure to maintain a positive attitude and avoid taking their behavior personally. For example, I once had a customer who was extremely upset about a delay in their order delivery. I listened to their concerns and empathized with their frustration. I apologized for the delay and worked to expedite their order. In addition, I offered a discount on their next purchase as a gesture of goodwill. By acknowledging their concerns and taking swift action to resolve the issue, I was able to turn a negative situation into a positive one. In my experience, the key to handling difficult customers is to remain calm, listen actively, and take swift action to resolve the issue. It's also important to follow up with the customer to ensure their needs have been met and they are satisfied with the resolution. 
This is a great answer that demonstrates your ability to handle difficult customers. It shows how you effectively turned a negative situation into a positive one through swift action and a positive attitude. Let's move on to question number three. How do you prioritize tasks and manage your time when dealing with multiple customers? When it comes to managing my time and prioritizing tasks in a fast-paced environment, I try to follow a few key principles. First, I always make sure to assess the urgency and importance of each task so I can prioritize accordingly. This means addressing high-priority items first and then moving on to less pressing matters. Second, I try to make sure I have a clear understanding of each customer's needs and expectations so I can address them as efficiently as possible. This may involve asking clarifying questions or taking notes during the interaction. Lastly, I strive to be as organized and efficient as possible. This includes utilizing tools like a calendar and task manager to keep track of deadlines and appointments, or finding ways to streamline processes to save time. One example of a time I had to manage my tasks effectively was when I had multiple urgent customer inquiries to address simultaneously. I quickly assessed the priority of each issue and began addressing the most pressing matter first. By staying organized and focused, I was able to resolve all of the customer inquiries in a timely manner while maintaining a high level of customer satisfaction. This is a top scoring answer that includes how you prioritize tasks, manage your time, and how you communicate with customers to ensure their needs are met. Let's move on to question number four. Describe a time when you went above and beyond for a customer. As a customer service representative, going above and beyond for my customers is something that I strive to do every day. One particular experience that stands out to me was when a customer reached out to me in a state of panic because they needed a product delivered the next day for an important event. Despite it being after our shipping cutoff time, I knew how much this product meant to them and I wanted to help in any way that I could. So I stayed late at work to personally pack and ship their product, making sure that it would arrive in time for their event. I also followed up with them to ensure that the product had arrived and that they were satisfied with their purchase. It felt great to go the extra mile for this customer and to help them in a time of need. It's instances like these that remind me of the importance of great customer service and the impact that it can have on someone's day. Going above and beyond isn't always easy, but it's always worth it to see the positive impact that it has on a customer's experience. This is an excellent answer that provides a concrete example of a time you went above and beyond for a customer. It also highlights your dedication to providing great customer service. Now let's have a look at question number five. How do you handle stressful situations when working with customers? Working in customer service can be challenging, and I've had my fair share of stressful situations when dealing with customers. However, I've learned to handle these situations in a calm and professional manner. When a customer is upset, I first make sure to actively listen to their concerns and acknowledge their feelings. This shows the customer that I am on their side and that I am committed to finding a solution. An example of a time when I had to handle a stressful situation was when a customer called in with a complaint about a product they had received. The customer was extremely frustrated and was raising their voice on the phone. I remained calm and empathetic throughout the conversation and worked to find a solution that would meet the customer's needs. I apologized for the inconvenience, offering a solution that addressed their concerns, and followed up with the customer to ensure they were satisfied. To help manage my own stress levels, I also practice self-care techniques, such as deep breathing exercises and taking breaks when needed. This helps me to stay focused and present when working with customers, even in challenging situations. This is a top-scoring answer that highlights your ability to remain calm and composed under pressure while prioritizing the needs of the customer. So, the next thing I want you to do is head straight to MegaInterview.com, and you can find more than 10,000 free job interview questions and answers for any job position you're looking for. You will also find more information about writing a resume and cover letter, and also job search advice and career advancement tips that will put you ahead of the competition. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button so that we can help you and other candidates pass their job interviews. And do not forget to like the video. By liking the video, you let us know that you like the interview questions and answers given, and it also motivates us to create more content. Thank you so much for watching, and I wish you all the best with passing your next job interview.